Hey everybody, it's Karen Kennedy and today I'm going to show you how to use a simple barbell in the house or in the gym to really build, round, and lift that booty. Let's go. Alright, the first exercise we're going to do is a reverse lunge with the barbell. We're going to really tighten and lift that butt. Let's go. We're going to stay in the back, same leg. Squeeze that butt when you come up. And switch sides. doesn't want to work as much. We have to be even. Equal opportunity. Good job. All right. Sometimes you have to tell your body what we're doing. Everybody. exercise is a good morning. Now, if you don't have a strong core, definitely don't do this with weight right away. But if you do have a core, strong core, go ahead and just give it a try. Good mornings. So, legs parallel. You can bend the knees or straighten them. And you just bend down and hinge at the hip. It's core, hip, glute, engage it all. Turn it all the way and squeeze it up. If you do a slight knee bend, this is a very slight knee bend, just so you're not locking out your knees. Really. Keep it squeezing that glute. really feel that here. Head here. <laughs> okay, the next exercise is what we call the curtsy lunge. So let's uh, work on building out and rounding out what we call those side rows. So normal shoulder width stance and you're just going to take the weight on one standing leg and cross it over and up. Cross it over and up. The working leg is doing a lot. The curtsy leg, you're going to feel a little bit in that inner thigh when you're down here and you press up. Of course, you're working your core. 
Because you're moving across your body. All right, let me adjust. Left side. Okay, so that curtsy lunge really, really, really works that butt, engages everything. And as an added bonus, get some support from the inner and outer thighs. So when you're crossing over, this turns on. When you're standing leg, your inner thigh turns on. But again, it's all focused on just really, really shaping, toning, and giving yourself a nice round booty. Enjoy. This time, we're gonna go ahead and do what's called the deadlift. Again, deadlifts really require a nice strong core. If you have any compromise in your lower back, do not add weight when you get started with this. So add weight as you become more advanced, as your body becomes stronger to support the movement. So hips shoulder width apart, similar to the good mornings, we're hinging at the hip. So your legs are your foundation. When you grab the bar, you, you sort of squat down, engage your whole body, stack it up, Put that butt out, and then you're going to keep the bar close to your legs. So you feel the stretch, and bring it up and squeeze it in. Close to the legs, feel the stretch, squeeze it in. You'll see sometimes people will bend their knees with this. That's okay, but my preference is to keep my knees and legs locked. Some other really great things about the deadlift is you're going to notice that when I was here to get into this position, I locked and loaded my arms, my butt, my back, my total core, everything's engaged. So when I'm here, everything is turned on. As I'm squeezing up, I'm going through the range of muscles, turning on everything it's on fire, fire every muscle as you move through the full range of motion. Full body workout right here. One other thing, you'll notice some people will go here when they're bending their knees. That's where I like to lock legs. You feel your back immediately if you start to let it go. You gotta hold that back flat. Don't go too far down. Stay about, you know, tabletop. Work on the stretch and pull up. Keep that back flat. Imagine that you're hinging at the hip. That helps keep that back flat. Try to keep your neck in alignment too. Again, so you don't end up arching or rounding. You see that too, not good. None of that's good. A nice, strong foundation. To really stack our muscles on. All right, now this is a really great one for your butt because we're combining like a deadlift and a lunge together. You're going to need to go really slow. Again, don't add the weight until you get the form right. So what we're going to do is we're going to go start with the weight in front of us this time. Legs shoulder width apart, and you're going to step back like you're doing a deadlift. So keep your form back tight and push up. Really feel it on your inner thigh. And you're going to feel your glute engage as you're squatting down. Oof. I'm gonna switch sides. Again, this really challenges you. So focus on the form. And here we go. Make sure that knee doesn't go past your toe. Try to get that weight in the heel. So you squeeze. Really squeeze the butt. Work in the butt. Four. And five. Whew. That one 
is effective. Great stuff put together. Again, deadlift gets everything. Arms, back, glutes, thighs, inner outer, and then of course the lovely lunge. It just nails everything. So take it slow, get your form right, perfect your lower body. Last but not least, we're gonna finish up and burn it out with 20 barbell squats. I think you know what these are, but let's go ahead and do it. So we're gonna go ahead and proper form, lift our barbell, bring our back, knees, legs shoulder width apart, stick your butt out, squat it back, 20. And don't rush through them. There's five. Really focus on that form. Engage everything. There's ten. Halfway there. There's ten. Nine. Whoa. Eight. See, I got carry away. There I went. Seven. Six, five, four, all right, last one, give it all, squeeze it out, all right, so proper form, get that weight off of you, sit it down properly, great, great workout for the Lower body, really working to get that round, tight booty. Build it, lift it, right? That's our goal. So I hope you like working out with me. If so, please be sure to hit like. And of course, don't forget to hit subscribe. Thanks for working out with me.